get a snowball after baseball practice almost every day. And I figured, hey, I could sell some snowballs at the pool, you know, for a dollar or whatnot. And um, literally the first day I set up, they asked me if I could cater, or if I catered, and I told them yes. And that's how it snowballed uh, into a business. <laughs> First big thing that happened, I had a big cave event that I look forward to every year with FAMU and they called and they canceled that event and I was like, oh man, what are we going to do? So I still had the shop obviously, but I just kind of just stuck to what I was doing. Um, as far as the marketing side, I knew I was going to have to figure out different ways to increase traffic and one of the things that I learned was I was always on my phone. I was scrolling on my phone all day long, just not even looking for anything, just scrolling. I started thinking like, well, if I have a business, a lot of people are doing the same things I'm doing, so let's increase our social media presence as far as putting more pictures out, putting more videos out. Snowball is not about the snowball, it's more so about the memories that we're creating when you guys are coming in. And it's just great to see the community all come together. The coolest thing to me is to have a customer come in and there's somebody else comes up behind them and they're telling them about what their favorite snowball is or what they get or, oh, I come here every single day or I get this, I try this. So that's cool to me to hear that. This is the community snowball shop. <laughs> that's what this is. 